minutes away from local weather here on Action News Now. Let's check in with Court Clopping in our Storm Tracker Center. What do we have out there for today, Court? Well, Julia, we've got one last day of very mild and comfortable conditions, but we also have some very active conditions moving in as we head through your forecast. And I do have the checklist that I want to talk about right now and getting a look at some of the things that you're going to want to do before we see that rain and snow returning in your forecast. Now, first off, make sure that those gutters are clean. That could cause some issues for you if they're not. Remove those leaves. A lot of those leaves are just cluttering our yards right now. Remove them from your street areas, the gutters, the drains. You want to make sure that those aren't going to be allowing that water to really pile up. Check your wiper blades on your cars. This is something that a lot of us forget about, but it makes a big difference to have wiper blades that work. You don't want to get stuck in rain without that because that makes it very tough to see outside of your car. Now, also, you want to make sure you find your umbrella. That's something I still need to do today. And then cover your patio furniture or just bring it indoors if you are worried about that getting wet. As far as what we are seeing in your forecast, we do have the winter storm watch going into effect tomorrow morning through Sunday evening in portions of the Sierra, mainly on the eastern slope. So getting a look at what we're going to be seeing out there or western slopes, excuse me. What we're going to be seeing out there is snowfall on the way, and it looks pretty heavy in some areas. Could see up to 8 inches above 5,000 feet. Looks like up to 12 inches possible through Sunday night in some areas, so keep that in mind. We also have a winter weather advisory on the way from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. tomorrow in northern Trinity County. Temperatures this morning, 40s to 50s early on today in the valley, 50s to 60s in the foothills, and 20s to 30s in the mountains. And satellite, or, or excuse me, winds, excuse me, mostly out of the north to 10 miles an hour this morning. We'll see them out of the south to around 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Not expecting a huge uptick in those winds, but we will see them picking up a little bit as that low pressure drops down this evening. So what's going on out there and what's driving your forecast? We've got this high pressure to our south that's keeping us mostly dry today, but taking aim at our regions, this area of low pressure, it's going to be dropping down from the Pacific Northwest overnight tonight. Right now it's in the Gulf of Alaska, so this is going to pack a cold punch with it. It's going to spread those rain and snow showers through our region, and it's going to continue through at least Sunday as we see another system just rolling down from the north. That's going to arrive Saturday night into Sunday, so be prepared for that. We do dry out late Sunday into early Monday, but by then we're looking at some pretty impressive totals on the way. Upwards of an inch possible in many areas, the foothills and mountains. For the valley, it does look like we're mostly less than a quarter of an inch of rain on the way, and we will see a chance for some thunderstorms tomorrow as well. Temperatures today ending up in the 70s to low 80s, so this afternoon you wouldn't guess that we do have this active and cooler weather on the way for the northern end of the Sierra. Today we'll see temperatures in the high 60s to mid 70s. Foothill areas expected to see low to mid 70s this afternoon. And if you're in the valley today, it's low to mid 80s. 84 degrees at Red Bluff and Anderson. 83 degrees for Redding, Corning and Los Molinos. And low to mid 80s in the mid valley this afternoon with south winds up to around 10 miles an hour. Now tomorrow, that's when the change of pace is on the way. And your storm tracker seven day forecast for your weekends always in view. High 50s for Chico Friday through at least the middle of next week. We'll see some low 60s mixed in there as well. The best chance for showers in the valley is going to be on Friday. Mostly just mountain and foothill areas seeing those showers Saturday and Sunday. We'll see temperatures also in the high 50s for Redding from tomorrow through your weekend. Overnight lows mostly in the 30s could get down to freezing a couple of these overnights. So keep that in mind. It's going to get very cold out there and we've got that wet weather moving through. Staying very chilly through at least the middle of next week with another chance for showers by late Tuesday into Wednesday of your extended forecast.